My name is Alok Singh. I'm an interventional cardiologist here at St. Joseph's Hospital and member of the valve team for St. Joseph's Hospital, Tampa, Florida. I completed my undergraduate and medical school from Delhi University. I came here to this country and did my residency up in New York City before I moved down to Tampa, Florida for my cardiology fellowship here at USF. I then moved back north to Philadelphia for my interventional cardiology training at Thomas Jefferson Hospital. Since my completion of training in 2006, I've been working here at St. Jesus Hospital for eight years now. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVA, is an innovative new technology to provide relief to patients who have severe symptomatic aortic valvular stenosis who do not qualify or are high-risk candidates for the standard surgical aortic valve replacement. Aortic stenosis is a condition where you have narrowing of the aortic valve that prevents the blood from getting out of the heart to the aorta and to the rest of the body. The cardinal symptoms or the cardinal manifestation of severe aortic valvular stenosis is angina, syncope, and congestive heart failure. Even in patients who have asymptomatic severe aortic valvular stenosis, there's a higher risk of sudden cardiac death. Hence, we know this is a serious disease process that needs to be treated appropriately and on time. Aortic stenosis can be can be broadly divided into two categories. We have the congenital aortic valvular stenosis and the acquired aortic valvular stenosis. Congenital aortic valvular stenosis is a condition that we are born with. It could be a unicuspid aortic valve or it could, it could be a bicuspid aortic valve. Majority of the patients that we deal with have acquired aortic valvular stenosis, which can then be divided into two categories. One is rheumatic aortic valve disease, and the second, the larger population of patients that we deal with, and the population of patients for which the transcatheter techniques have been approved by the FDA is what is called the adult calcific degenerative aortic valve disease. Anybody and everybody above the age of 65 is at risk for acquired aortic valvular stenosis. Age is one of the major determinants of this disease process. There are other comorbidities that can accelerate the development of aortic valvular stenosis. These conditions include hypertension, diabetes, elevated LDL cholesterol, elevated levels of lipoprotein A, and tobacco abuse. Most of the patients who do have aortic valvular stenosis would be seen in the community by their respective primary physicians and or their cardiologists. It is imperative that once the patient develops severe aortic valvular stenosis, regardless of whether they are symptomatic or asymptomatic, they need to seek the opinion of a valve center. Patients in the Tampa Bay area who have been diagnosed with severe symptomatic aortic valve stenosis can visit the valve center here at St. Joseph's Hospital. We have a valve center coordinator who will work one-on-one -on -one with you to provide you the most expedient care. She'll walk with you every step of the process to make sure that you get expedient treatment and you get the best possible outcome from your treatment.